Hey everyone, welcome back to this video. I have come up with one more case study which I want to share with you all people. When I was training one of the company in Microsoft Power BI, you know, online training, which was again a business intelligence tool, and I came up with case study and I thought I could share with you all people. The case study was pulling up the data from a website and creating a beautiful dashboard. So the company used to get data every day, and uh, there was manual people who were sitting in this company who used to do it manually every day, and they used to create dashboard. So I want to explain you this case study how this process has been automated in Microsoft Power BI. So let us see that exactly. So the company was one of the insurance company in India. and uh, they used to pick up the data from amazon and flipkart uh, insurance company which they used to give insurance on mobile phones on the laptops and you know credit card offers and all so they used to pick up data from amazon and flipkart every day every day they used to pick up and apply a kind of we look up between them data so they used to copy paste sometimes they used to use some web scraping software or maybe an excel thing to download the data and this process was done manually for different categories for the mobile phone category for the laptop category and and different different categories so there was a dedicated mis team sitting in the company which used to do this activity a repetitive task so that when they compare which one is lowest the flipkart data or the amazon data the flipkart mobile or the amazon mobile based on that they used to give the offer now what happened was after this power bi online training the website data can be brought into microsoft power bi in just three button clicks the first page in just three button clicks you can pull a data from amazon three button clicks from flipkart you can pull the data the semi structured data now when you go to amazon website the data is not in a tabular format no columns and rows it just you will be getting the name the photographs and the value so the semi structured data has been converted to structured data in power bi in just less than three button clicks now after pulling those data inside power bi we look up will be applied automatically the name of we look up in power bi is merge queries so using that merge queries they are able to compare the flipkart and amazon data side by side and finally they can create a beautiful dashboard out of it so what i wanted to make you understand is this case study was done with many people in the company they used to spend huge number of hours on the repetitive task the company used to spend lot of time on this and the money as well on this so using this power bi software which is not a just a data visualization software it is a business intelligence tool self service analysis tool self service means you and me are not required the tool is smart enough to do this activity automatically repetitively now every day microsoft power bi pulls the fresh data from the website every day every minute every hour you can give it So Microsoft Power BI pulls the data from those websites and then cleans the data. Number one, uh, does the data modeling, connecting data sources, and then finally updating the dashboard, not with the old data, with the new data. And those dashboards are available on the big screen in the company, where people can quickly see the data what is happening. So imagine hours of time and energy which was spent on this manual activity has been completely automated. So I want you all. Uh, to understand this is possible now there were some intelligent people who are like little 40 45 50 year old people they said if amazon and flipkart data can come can you also bring data from the share market or stock market uh, because they were investing in stock and they have to every day go on the website or open the mobile phone so i said yes why not uh, you can pick up the data from stock market share market website and that data can be brought down in power bi in just three button clicks and after that see when i say three button clicks it can go to four five button clicks so don't be specific that three button clicks but i'm trying to say do not use keyboard do not learn any coding language for this so the data can be pulled from stock market share market website or currency exchange this is also one you know case study i can say every day the currency value changes usd to inr inr to some other currency so you can pull those websites data inside microsoft power bi you can analyze that data in the form of a dashboard first you create a dashboard after creating a dashboard column chart pie chart line chart and bar chart all this beautiful dashboard when you prepare and then you can analyze data when you analyze and you understand right today the share market price has gone down 
or the stock prices has gone down. I have to sell the prices. I have to sell the prices is a quick decision you are able to make. When you have a visually presented data, you are very intelligent enough to now take a quick decision. When the data is not visually present, if the graph is not present, it becomes a little difficult to take a decision. So everyone, the data which was picked up from Amazon Flipkart, the case study was solved. But along with that, there were many other case studies, interesting case studies, which people thought, can it help us in day-to-day -day activities? So one of the person in a you know funny manner, the person used to bring the data from uh, the stock market. He used to do his personal work in the company and create a dashboard. So the manager used to take a round behind him and uh, they used to see that Power BI is open and there are dashboard which is watching and you know trying to take a decision. But the manager didn't knew that he's watching a stock data on his laptop, the share market data, his personal data. So manager was happy because he saw the person working in the company, hard work, looking at the dashboard. This person who was sitting, uh, the 40, 45 year old person, he was happy because he doesn't have to go to the website every day. He just opens on a mobile or on a you know, laptop and see the updated data of the share market and uh, it's automated. So saving time, manager happy, the employee happy and the dashboard. So he can take a quick decision on selling the data, just on a funny manner, on a lighter note. But I, I, can, I can have you know, many, many case studies around pulling the data from the website. It's also known as web scrapping. Pulling the data from the website is also known as web scrapping. Now, you have to note one thing, web scrapping is illegal in some of the organizations, some of the companies. Before you do it, make sure you have the right permissions from the team and the you know, uh, right notifications written on an email properly. So web scrapping is also one of the area which can be automated and it can be giving you a beautiful report here. So everyone, this is one case study which I thought I could share with you. It might make a difference. The steps you'll get in Google anywhere. So how to get uh, website data in Power BI, these are simple steps. But I want to make you updated, make you, you know, aware about what is going on big MNCs. Not only small organizations, but all the big companies are still doing that manual process. This has to change. This has to be automated so that we all together grow ahead. Okay, we should not stop it and do that same boring task in the company. So everyone, thank you for watching this. Stay updated, stay tuned for the next video which I'll be showing up. Thank you.